<clears throat> so I thought I'd do another video. And this time I swear to God it looks like the picture is centered. This is what I'm doing. Yeah, this has got to be working. I believe we left off here last time. I left off here. There's no we. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, this is another just friggin' awesome thing. At first I had connected the the ground with the ship in some way, like same color, same design sort of looking. So I thought this was a shipyard and they were building the ship, which is why it has that incomplete look. But I just noticed there are rockets firing in the background. Well, not in the background, but at the back of the ship. So it's it's not stationary like I thought. I really thought it was all connected together, but it's obviously firing off or just flying past. Or is it just starting to leave, maybe. If it was rocketing past, I could then look at the ground as being some sort of a destroyed city. In the background there's another large object. Maybe that's another ship. I'm not going to zoom in. I think that's cheating. I should just leave it to my imagination. I thought of it as a building. Just a really odd shaped building. <laughs> that's probably not right. No, I want to try something different here. No, the Citadel. Too easy. No, Star Wars. Too copyrighted. I'm liable to get sued for reimagining their scenes. 99% sure this is Star Wars also. So again, it just feels weird. It's cool, but it doesn't really say much. <laughs> no, that's not true. Put the picture down in front of the players. Let them see and realize that this is Earth. This is their home. In five hours, it will explode unless you stop it. So let them see the Earth, see the Moon, and know, you know, there's an obvious sense of impending doom. Planet exploding, gotta stop it. Then I could use that as a launch point. It's cheesy, but if you don't want any backstory, you just want to jump into a, jump into a game, all you have to do to set it is one thing, one concept. In this case, it's a picture. In other cases, it could be, well, I don't know. It's just a picture. But everything that follows that is who knows. Like, it's all completely made up as I go along. So I would show them this picture. This is Earth, this is your home. In five hours, it will, it will explode. then make them part of some government agency, have them trying to track down, I don't know, a report of a bomb, obviously. Then, well, I wouldn't have the, there's no way to pause this, is there? Hmm. That's silly.
Well, that's silly. There's no way to pause this. And this is going to be the most boring segment, boring podcast or whatever that anyone's ever seen. Because it's going to be five minutes of silence while I try to figure out what the hell I'm, <laughs> what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I don't want to stop it. If I stop, I'll give up. Let's move on. This one's definitely from the Marvel Universe. That's Galactus, the large giant dude up here in the upper right hand corner. He is a world eater. He's a cosmic entity, power force, whatever. Just so massive, well, as you can see. But he uh, will suck all the energy out of a planet and kill everything on it. I mean, there's no way to stop him, according to the comics. Although, I played a video game where we stopped Galactus, so I guess it's possible. I saved this one because I thought it was just really cool. spiky and Mass Effect again. Not a set in space one. This looks more like a futuristic London. Since I'm surrounded by the water, I would make it a class struggle. wealthy elite. <clears throat> the wealthy elite live on the outskirts. But all the people who do the work, the manufacturing, the coal shoveling, whatever it is they do. Have to live on the island, the poor section. Their world is still coal powered. They've developed better engines, but they still rely on the use of coal, at least in, in some degree. Because, you know, they're not going to stop using fossil fuels until there are no fossil fuels left. There's just no question. So, continue with them burning fossil fuels into the future. I would make it a class struggle between the, uh, the corrupt officials on the uh, rich end and the corrupt poor rich officials on the uh, on the inside let's say it was like a iron railroad sort of or underground railroad sort of thing where you're trying to smuggle out you know the good people who live there who live on the inner city yeah that's not a my dog. Someone has the audacity to be walking by. And I want to tell him to stop. But then you're going to hear me yell. Rowdy. Rowdy. I know. I saw the dog. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he ran away because of you. <laughs> 